Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be making some southern soup beans, all right? Future Brooke interjecting here while I'm picking beans. I just wanted to let you guys know that this video is for the Quick Fine Recipe playlist. You guys asked for this one. Here it is. I'm doing it. So, this video was going in the playlist. Another one down. Now, we're going to be making some southern soup beans. That means you guys are going to be sitting here shooting the crap with me like we do when we pick through beans. All right? That's the southern way. So, that's what we're going to do. So, first thing, you're going to get you a colander and you're going to get you another bowl. I'm using a pound of mixed beans. You can use just plain pinto. You can use plain Great Northern. But, my memo, the best beans in the world are made by my memo. All right. She uses mixed beans. So, that's what I'm using today. And I'm going to pour them all into my colander. Now, there was a question I remember in my Facebook group. Somebody said, do you have to pick your beans and do you have to wash them? My answer would be yes. There's rocks in there. I have found many a rock and I have found a lot of icky beans. So, what we're going to do, we're going to sit here and pick our beans. We're going to slowly go through the beans. Get you a handful. Look at them. If they look okay, drop them in the other bowl. Those are good beans right? The bad beans we're going to put back in here. And let me tell you what. I'm going to tell you a story because we're shooting the crap, right? This is how we, we do the beans. Okay. My mamma's told me this story my whole life. She had a little brother who was about two years old. Bad bean. And I'm putting that bad bean in the bag. All right. Don't lose them bad beans. And I'm about to tell you what. And this just sticks with me, all right? This is ingrained into my brain. Mamma's two-year-old little brother found a dried bean on the floor. And he got choked on it. And it swelled up in his windpipe over the course of like a few hours or so. Because it swelled up because all his, the liquid, you know, the saliva. And it cut off his airways and he died when he was two years old. <clears throat> and it just sticks in my brain and I'm ter I know my kids are older. I know. I know. Colin won't stick a dry bean in his mouth. I can't help it. It is embedded into my brain to always make sure you got every bean accounted for. Bad beans go in the bag and directly into the garbage when I'm finished. I have little nieces and a little nephew. They come here. I can't be having random beans laying around and maybe they'll get choked on it. Heck no. And you're probably asking yourself, how do I know if a bean is bad? Well, if it don't look too pretty, it's bad. Don't take no chances because it can ruin a whole batch of beans. For instance, here is a good, if you can see that, white northern. This is supposed to be a white northern. It is not white. It is orange. Bad bean. See what I'm saying? So, we're just going to sit here and we're just going to pick through our beans. I'm just showing y'all the basic recipe for some soup beans. I'm not showing y'all the fancy dancies, okay? If you want to add extras, go ahead and add your extras, all right? I know some people like to add um, a ham hock or just bits of salt pork, things like that. These beans ain't gonna have that. This is just your basic soup bean. In my opinion, I think they're the best soup beans. That's all the bad beans right there in the bottom of that bag. I'm gonna toss this in the trash and I'm gonna start washing these beans. I don't soak my beans. If you wanna soak your beans, you can, but it's not really necessary. They say you can soak them to reduce that gas effect that it gives you, but it doesn't make a difference that I've seen. <laughs> now, this is how I wash my beans. I'm just going to run water in this bowl, 
and I'm going to run my fingers through, clean them real good, and then dump them in this colander, and then do it again. That should be enough. Okay, I've washed my beans. Now, now is where you choose how you're going to cook your beans. Are you going to cook your beans on the stove, or are you going to cook your beans in an instant pot? Well, I'm not going to do mine on the beans. I'm not going to do mine on the stovetop because it takes three to four hours and you can't just leave them and go. So I'm going to explain some things to you. If you don't have an instant pot, this is how you're going to make your stovetop soup beans. You're going to add your beans to your pot, put about six cups of water, add a tablespoon of fat, some salt to taste. And if you want to add anything else in there, like a ham hock, ham or um, salt pork, whatever, whatever you want to add, this is when you add it, all right? Then, I'm going to cook it on medium low heat. You're going to put the lid on and you're going to let it just simmer. And you're going to check this about every 20 to 30 minutes to see if the water level has gone down. If it has, you add some hot water in there because your beans can cook dry and burn, all right? It takes a really long time and you have to keep an eye on it. So that's why I choose Instant Pot. So if you want to do it in the Instant Pot, I'm going to show you how to do that way right now. I'll probably do another video in like a week or so showing how to do a stovetop version. But for tonight, we're doing the Instant Pot version. And some people have said to me that the Instant Pot doesn't get them as creamy. I have a trick to that. Okay, we got Marjorie out. She's sitting here. I got my beans washed. And I'm going to go ahead and add my beans to Marjorie. I'm all mess. Okay, I added my washed beans to Marjorie, and I'm gonna add, I'll measure just to let you know how much exactly. Y'all know I don't measure, but I'm doing this for you. I added eight cups. All righty. I have my beans in there. I have my eight cups of water in there. Now I got my Crisco out. This big thing of Crisco has lasted me a long time. See this big old dollop? Dollop right there. Like I said before, you can use any fat you want. You can use butter, bacon grease, oil, what have you. You can use it. I just like Crisco. That's what my mama uses. It's what my aunts use. Crisco makes it taste good to me. Now, we're going to add some salt to taste. Beans soak up a lot of salt. So you're going to need more salt than you probably think because they're kind of like a potato. I would say I added maybe a tablespoon of salt in there, if I'm guessing. Yeah. At this point, you can go ahead and put on your lid if you don't want to add anything extra to your beans. But if you do, if you want to add that hog jaw, the ham hock, the salt pork, what have you, add it into it right now, all right? These beans like this are fantastic. This is the way my mama makes them, and I think they are amazing. But sometimes I feel a little fancy. Just a little bit of pizzazz. This is ham concentrate. Goya makes it. You get, I would say, 10 little packets. In a pack for around $1.50 to $2. It used to be a dollar back in the day. And it lasts a really long time. So I'm just going to open up one of these. And I'm going to put it in here. If it'll come out. There we go. You can find this at the Dollar Tree sometimes for $1.25, and it's a good day when I can find it at the Dollar Tree. Um, Walmart sells it occasionally on like an end cap. But the places that I find has it all the time is just random supermarkets like Kroger, Ingalls, Food City, things like that. And I got this one at a Priceless IGA, and it was $1.42 for this big pack. This is what our beans look like. With just that ham concentrate in there. Now, you don't have to stir it up or anything if you're doing an Instant Pot. So, the Instant Pot, put on your lid. Make sure she is on filling. And we're going to manually cook this for 65 minutes. 
okay? She's going to cook. I don't have to watch it. I don't have to do anything. I can forget about it in the Instant Pot. After the 65 minutes is up, I'm going to do a quick release and release all that pressure. Take the lid off. And you know how I told you that some people said that they don't like to do it in the Instant Pot because it's not as creamy? And I had a trick to make that happen. After that, after I take the lid off, I'll show you how I make it creamy. Now, most Southerners with their soup beans, they like to have a good old fried cater. I'm dig out some chow chow and have it on the side with your beans. Or you can make rice. Some people like to eat it with rice. But tonight we're doing good old Southern cornbread. I have done a recipe video in the past showing you three ways to make Southern cornbread. I will link it down below and I will go ahead and add that to this quick fun recipe playlist as well. So it can be something quick you can find too. And that's what I'm going to be making for the side. We're going to do some cornbread. I'm going to bring up some chow chow because you cannot have soup beans without chow chow. I don't care what nobody says. All right. It's done cooking. What I'm going to do now is release. Oh, release. <laughs> when this pressure is gone, we'll take off the lid. Okay. You see how they're not very creamy. And I'll give you that. They're not creamy. But this is what you do when you want to make them creamy. You just hit saute mode and you start sauteing. It's not sauteing. It's going to start boiling them up and they will get more creamy over time. I'm going to let these saute for about 10 minutes. When you put them on saute, they want to start boiling up just like this. The thicker you like your beans, the longer you let them go on saute. We like ours like this. You see how they got creamier? You see that? But we like ours like this because we like our cornbread to soak up that pinto bean juice, the bean juice. So I'm going to turn mine off, but if you like yours creamier, let them go a little longer. The soup beans are done. A lot of people like to call this a pound of cornbread. My mama does. I call it a mess of cornbread. Call it what you want, but we got a mess of cornbread here. You cannot have southern soup beans without good old homemade chow chow right out of your garden in the backyard. I mean, you can, but this makes it better. First step, you put a wedge of cornbread in the bottom of your bowl. And on top of that, you're going to pour some soup beans. Now, we like ours a little more juicy than most. The reason being that bread soaks up that bean juice and it's so good. All right. Woo, look at that heat. Look at that heat. All right. Now you open up your chow chow. You place a big old dollop right there. That is southern soup beans. They don't have to have a lot of ingredients to be good. This is bomb.com. Promise. So good. Now, when you go to somebody's house in the South and you smell soup beans, you're about to be given the best thing you could ask for. Because everybody who makes soup beans, and if you got company over, they're going to say, I have a mess of soup beans and are you want some? And you're going to be like, heck yes, I do. Or likely, they'll look like this. Now, some vary. Like I said, you can put ham in it, bacon in it, whatever you want in it. More seasonings. This is the base. The basic southern soup bean comfort food, all right? This is a meal all on its own. You don't need nothing else. But on occasion, we do have other things with it. But this is just, you know, the basic. If you want to add more oomph to this, go ahead. I'm just giving you the baseline, like I said a hundred times. I'm sorry. But I just want that to be clear. You can add whatever you want to this. But... This is 100% good on its own. I promise you that. Like, we have this for Sunday supper. Because this is a delicacy down here. This is good. This is good eating. All right, real quick. You see how that's kind of soaking up all that juice in there? See, it's not as liquidy as it once was. Why is it not focusing on my face? Because we like it a little extra juicy for that flavor. But you stir it up and you don't stir up. See that? You don't stir up that chow chow in there. You get you some soup beans and cornbread and then you dip it in the chow chow. And then you eat it.
And I'll tell you what, I could have that whole jar of chow chow in this. And I'll be happy. Mm. Some good eating right there. Remember, salt your taste. Don't oversalt it. I don't like a lot of salt, my beans. Dusty oversalts everything. Yep, I tell him all the time that he needs gonna that he's gonna have some sodium issues. His doctor says he doesn't, but Dusty's gonna put so much salt on this. But this is perfect for me. So definitely taste it to see if you need to add salt. You may be different, different than me. It's really hot, so I'm gonna let Braden blow it and get it cooled down, and then we'll come back for the taste test. He's got his beans and his chow chow in there. Let's give it a go. Mm. Oh, really good. <laughs> He's in his pajamas already. Okay, let's blow it. Oh. Oh. He's down. He's down, y'all. That was the longest pass out he's done yet. There you have it, y'all. A good old Southern delicacy, Southern soup beans. The baseline. Like I said, add to it if you want to add to it. But that's just the base, and that's what you can go with. Super easy, super delicious. I will link the cornbread down below and the chow chow down below. So you guys can find that pretty easy, too. All right. I'll see you later. Remember, as always, stay positive, stay kind, be happy, let others be happy, and I'll see you next video.